welcome back to my channel if you're near house of my name is Fikayo if you're not thank you so much for coming back today's video we're going to do something quite different something we haven't done here before but I don't know I just lately I've been feeling the need to actually switch up a bit and start bringing out videos like this more to this channel because if you guys don't know I turned 21 um, a couple of months ago, on 21 August, and ever since then, it's been like I've been in this whole 20s vibe. I've been wanting to do better for myself. I've been so big on realizing that I'm getting older by the day, and I need to start working on myself right now so that I can be happy about that in the nearest future. Oh, so yeah, that's why I decided to come and share this few tips or things that I've learned with you guys, and hopefully, we can all incorporate them into our lives. And do better by ourselves so yeah if you're interested in knowing the money mistakes you need to avoid in your 20s you definitely want to keep on watching this video the first money mistake you need to avoid is to not go broke while trying to look rich i know i know i know a lot of people might find this controversial but you, we, we can't lie that this is something that people do we can't lie that this is something that's common in this generation in this society like People feel they need to buy that designer bags, buy that designer shoes, buy that expensive whatever it is just so they can look expensive or just so they can be treated with some sort of class. It's not what it is like oh my gosh like if you're going to have to buy that thing and get broke in the process why are you buying it like what's the point what's the reason for it because if you can't afford it you shouldn't be buying it and you affording it means you can buy that thing at least twice yes like if you can't buy that thing at least twice you can't afford it and if you can't afford it why are you buying it like why exactly are you buying what you can't afford just because you want to meet up with standards just because you want to be treated right just because you want to fit in like it's not worth it like do not try to look rich if you're going to go broke in the process do not go broke while you're trying to look rich my dear it's the same thing it's the same thing it's the same thing and i cannot overemphasize this thing because it is not worth it if you have to buy that designer bag that designer shoe that expensive whatever it is and you're going to go broke in the process if you have to get that, that apartment just because it makes you feel rich or just because it makes you fit in and you can't afford it and it's making you broke my dear please stop it <laughs> stop it because it's not worth it like that's a money mistake you feeling like you need to Put yourself in a financial crisis just because you want to fit in that's a money mistake you need to avoid and if you're if you're still a teenager good for you start incorporating this thing so that when you get to this 20s to this 20 stage you will know that okay yes i already know some money mistakes i need to start avoiding and if you're still in your 20s and you're feeling the pressure to be doing all these things please it's not worth it don't forget. put that money into something else instead uh, it it's be better if you put that money if you go broke trying to invest in your business or you go broke trying to improve your business or upgrade your business or or do something else rather than trying to buy something that that will not give you any value in the nearest future don't do it don't try to go broke while looking rich don't do it second thing the second money mistake that i feel like is also quite common and that you should need to avoid is splurging unnecessarily like splurging unnecessarily like it's not worth it a lot of people might say my my cover this in the light of oh i'm trying to spoil myself because i deserve it like i've worked hard we've all worked hard like everybody works hard but bill gates works hard but he doesn't spend his money anyhow splurging unnecessarily is when you feel the need to just buy 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 every time just because you feel like you can afford it or just because you feel like you can easily get cash to buy that thing and easily get cash as far you can easily make money you can easily borrow money you can easily get money from somebody it is not worth it like guys do not splurge unnecessarily like all these things is just making me remember um tammy from smart money woman and tammy will just be spending money just because she feels like her daddy can give her when she wants like she can get money from her dad whenever she needs do not be a tammy do not splurge unnecessarily and you might not you might even be saying like mm, tammy did not even splurge like that yes tammy might not have splurged like that but she always she always saw it like oh she can easily get money from her dad to do whatever she wants and even if she goes broke spending her own money her dad will be there for her and honestly that's not a smart move because 
judging unnecessarily is not just worth it. We all we've all worked hard. We all deserve ni- nice things, but it all it now depends on how you budget your money and how you allocate your money towards the things you feel like you need. What I personally have been telling myself now is that for every time that you feel like you need to splurge unnecessarily that i'm not saying i won't spoil myself obviously i'm going to spoil myself and give myself that baby girl treatment that i deserve because baby girl treatment or nothing and self-care comes first but splurging unnecessarily is different there's one thing when you say you want to splurge on yourself you want to take care of yourself you want to compensate yourself for the work that you've done it's another thing when you say you want when you just splurge unnecessarily because you feel like you can they are two different things and don't get it twisted they are two different things but one thing i always tell myself is whenever i feel the need to splurge i will take out that money that i feel like splurging from my account and i'll throw it in my savings account and if you don't have a savings account by now you're doing yourself another damage you're doing yourself another wrong you need to have a savings account probably open it open a separate bank account when you don't have an atm for it or something and just develop that as your savings account and just save in that or you can as well download there's so many apps for saving right now this video is not sponsored but you can get a couple of apps like a couple personally i use piggy vest and that's what i used to save so do your research find what works for you and stick to it but yeah you can either do that or just get like a different bank account where you're just going to be saving in so yeah back to the whole splurging thing whenever you feel like whenever you feel the need to splurge unnecessarily just take out the money that you feel like splurging from your account take out that money and trade in your savings account because with time like give it a month or two from now when you look back at that account and you're like wait 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 so like this is all the money i've been wanting to just trade with just because i feel like i wanted to just buy things for myself like looking back at that money you'll be grateful you'll be glad that you did not just spend the money anyhow and that's what i've been telling myself and that's what i'm going to be sticking to and that's what you should stick to because Spreading unnecessarily is not a smart move. It's a money mistake. It's a financial mistake, and it's something that's really cl- reckless. You need to stop spreading unnecessarily. I'm a big fan of self care, spoiling yourself. You deserve it. Maybe go treatment, but it de- but there's a difference from spoiling yourself and compensating yourself and spreading unnecessarily. No difference and no peace. The third and 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 um also crucial point is to have fun according to your pockets have fun according to your pockets have fun according to your pockets i hope i'm shouting for people at the back have fun according to your pockets if you can't afford it don't go if you can't afford that trip don't go on it if you can't afford that 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 dinner with your friends don't go for it don't do what you cannot do don't be a paul if you do not watch um blue therapy you won't that's what i mean by paul but basically paul was that guy that would basically just want to hang out with like the rich guys just because he feels like hanging out with them would make them want to invest in him or something like that basically it was spending beyond his pockets and it will spend the following week hustling and busting trying to meet up with that money that you overspent don't do that have fun according to your pocket if your friends are saying oh we need to go on this vacation and you know you can't afford it don't go for it and like i said affording it is not that you don't have the money if you can't pay for that thing at least twice you can't afford it if you can't pay for that thing even if it's once i still have a distant amount of money you can't afford it if you can't afford that trip don't go for it if you can't afford that dinner because honestly speaking lagos is no more beans <laughs> restaurants in lagos are calling high prices just for his guys food you'll be hearing some kind 20k per meal 30k per meal like if you're going to a restaurant you have to budget like proper money before you can go and eat so if you don't have that proper money please don't go in it because it's one thing where you know you have the money it's another thing where you know that oh, okay i just want to go just because my friends are going i don't want to be left out are you are you moving mad you want to wash plates because i kid you not if you say you want to do pass yourself and you go to because funny how you won't even know that probably probably look at 
look at the situation where you're the other your bill is high more than what you can afford my dear you would wash plates <laughs> you will wash plates in this lagos because these restaurants don't play with you no more and it's just it's just why i'm shouting have fun according to your pockets go on that trip according to your pockets if you can't afford where your friends are telling you to go tell them oh can we go here instead because you guys that's where i can afford if they're really your friends they would walk towards your pockets for you your budget for you if you're not your friends and they're insisting that's where they want to go to let them go you will go another day just have fun according to your pocket don't do past yourself like this thing is just me telling you to not do past yourself to know when to call it quits to know when to say oh sorry i can't do this because it's not within my budget or this is not fitting right if you can't afford that trip don't go for it if you can't afford that dinner or that lunch date don't go for it because honestly you need to be more smart with your finances you need to be more accountable for your with your finances you need to be more conscious with how you're spending money just because you have the money in your account doesn't mean you should spend it as you see or as you please this fourth tip is something that i feel like my fellow nigerians would be able to relate to if you're nigerian you would understand what i mean by this 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 fourth tip and it's the data issue basically i'm trying to tell you that the fourth money mistake you need to avoid is spending anyhow on data spend wisely on data because data is not cheap like data is not cheap you buy data today in the evening it's gone you buy data today tomorrow it's no more like data just goes like this and data is not cheap anymore and to think they're not even making it easy for us because you should be wondering like where is this data going to what did i use it for but honestly it's gone you need to spend wisely on data get a wi-fi get a wi-fi i've been thinking about this for a while but my friend recently just spoke to me about it and it just made me realize that oh you've been thinking about this thing for a while and somebody's saying this again why not jump on it so if you can't go for like the high data plans because you feel like it will still waste you definitely want to invest in getting a MiFi or a Wi-Fi because at least you'll be spending money on that but it will be lasting you for a long time because honestly speaking there is no Nigerian that you ask have, ask them what's taking their money and they won't mention data so let's be more conscious of our finances let's be more aware of how we are spending money if you haven't realized that till now you definitely need to go check up and study what's taking up your finances luckily for you it might not be data but for us that is data we need to just do better we need to do well by ourselves and start spending wisely on data get a wi-fi get a wi-fi or invest in a proper sensible data plan and the fifth and final tip that i have here for you guys is to stop trying to match appearance this is quite similar to what i've been saying before but yeah stop trying to match appearance your friend has this doesn't mean you need to get it your friend is living like this doesn't mean you need to live like that too their head is different from your own their finances is different from your own where they are seeing money from it's not the same place you're seeing money from stop trying to match up here i don't know where they had to strive to to get to where they are for them to spend money the way they are they might not be spending money recklessly because they can afford it it's within their budget but for you it might not be within your budget but you always trying to match your parents you always trying to copy your friend live like your friend it's not really sensible it's not really smart it's a reckless financial step it's a money mistake that you need to avoid you don't need to do that and it's i see a lot of people saying oh my friend has this it's not like I'm, I'm i want it because my friend has it though but i'm just saying that ah, me too i should be able to get this now it's not worth it like it's not it's not it's not applying sense like i'm sure that if you said if you calm down to use your head i'm going to give you to think about it you will know that it's not worth it so if it's not worth it why are you not thinking about it and i feel like some of you might find a lot of you might find this controversial i'll be like what she's saying it might not make sense to you now but if you eventually get to that point where you want to start being financially responsible and financially free it would then start to make sense to you so i'm not trying shades i'm not trying shades but it, i'm just saying if it's not making sense to you right now that means you're not in that whole process of trying to be financially free and it's cool it's fine but yeah and i'm sure this will make sense to certain people because matching appearance can cost you a lot wherever it is you are especially in this lagos but irrespective of wherever you are 
matching appearance is a very tricky and risky thing to do especially if you're trying to match appearance when it comes to your finances you probably have the money for that you probably can afford that you probably have multiple sources of income that are getting you that but me on the other hand i'm trying to multiply my sources of income so that i can get the things i want without having to get them because i want to match appearance but get them because i can't afford them so yeah basically guys these are the money mistakes i feel like you need to stop making in your 20s we are not getting any younger we need to start doing better for ourselves we need to start doing better by ourselves share this video to as many people as you feel like they need so because honestly i feel like this has helped me and is helping me to process things differently and I hope it helps you as well. So yeah, if you like to see more videos like this on this channel, definitely give this video a big thumbs up, drop a comment, share this video to as many people as you can share it to. And if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button. It's probably here or here, wherever it is. Hit that subscribe button. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.